Hey guys, welcome back to part two of multiplying binomials by polynomials or monomials or however you want to look at it. We're multiplying um, some terms. So this time we've got some more things to do. We have this one to multiply by what's in parentheses. Then there's, notice the parentheses is closed and now I have negative two. So this is a new term that's getting distributed to this side of parentheses. So we've got to do two parts here. The first times what's inside of that parentheses and then the next term times what's inside of that parentheses. So three n times six n cubed. Well, three times six is 18. N times N cubed is N to the fourth power. Now I've got 3 times negative 4, which makes it a negative 12. And N times N is N squared. Okay, so we're done with all of this. Ignore it now. We're moving on. We're distributing the negative 2 to what's inside this set of parentheses. So negative 2 times 9 is negative 18. There's no N out here, so we just keep it N to the fourth. Negative 2 times a negative 11. Watch out for those negatives. A negative times a negative makes it a positive 22. Now we have to simplify. We look through here, see if there's any like terms, and make sure that we put our answer in standard form. So I have 18 into the fourth minus 18 into the fourth. But those cancel each other out, and I'm just left with negative 12 in squared plus 22. So I am left with a binomial. There's two terms of the second degree. Okay, pause the video and try number two. 2n squared times 5n cubed gives me 10 into the fifth. 2n squared times 6 gives me 12n squared. Done with this first set. Boom, moving on. Negative 5n times 3 into the fourth gives me negative 15 into the fifth, right? Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. N times into the fourth is into the fifth, minus 15 into the third. So looking for like terms, I see that this and this are alike. So we can combine the coefficients. 10 take away 15 is negative 5 into the fifth. Okay, what's going to come next? Do we want to put our plus 12 in squared or our minus 15 in cubed? Correct, minus 15 in cubed because our exponents need to go in descending order. 5, 3, 2. That way it's written in standard form. So negative 5 into the fifth minus 15 into the third plus 12 in squared. This is a trinomial of the fifth degree has a leading coefficient of negative 5. I don't know how many of you all have ever seen this, but this basket is the world's largest basket. It is an office building for Longaberger, at least it used to be. I'm not really sure what it is now, but it is in Dresden, Ohio. So if you were to travel to Dresden, you could see this Longaberger basket. Um, it was originally built to be the Newark, Ohio headquarters of the Longaberger Company. I'm not really sure what it's used for at this point. So if you look at this, you can tell that the face of it is a trapezoid. It's a little bit smaller on the bottom, a little bit longer on the top. That's a terrible drawing. but So each face of the building is in the shape of a trapezoid, with the largest face having height of h and two base lengths of h plus 90 and 2h plus 84. So it says write and simplify an expression to represent the area of one side of the building. Well, first we have to recall how to find the area of a trapezoid. So area of the trapezoid is one half times the height times the sum of the bases. So base one plus base two. So we have one half times our height. Well, it told us our height was H, so we're good there. Times the bases. Well, base one is H plus 90. Base two is two H plus 84. So we can just fill that in. One half times H times H plus 90. Plus, I said times, h plus 90 plus 2h plus 84. I got distracted by the rain. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is raining hard. Okay, so combining our like terms. Let's combine within the parentheses first. h plus 2h is 3h. 90 plus 84 is 174. Okay, now we have this one-half h outside of here, and I prefer to write it as h over 2, 
myself so that I'm just, I feel like I'm, it's more condensed as I'm distributing. You can do it however you want. But a half times three is three halves, and h times h is h squared. A half of 174 is, what would that be, 87, I think. 174 divided by 2. 2 goes into 16, yeah, 87. Okay, and then I can't forget my h. So this is the dimensions, or the area, I guess, with the dimension being h. So this is the area of the largest face of the building with using h as the height. All right, so next thing that we want to look at is a chicken coop. I think I told you guys I hatched a bunch of baby chicks, and now I need a chicken coop. I want a chicken run outside for I have the barn where the chickens stay, but I want to build a coop. So I want the, the base of my building to be a square. Right, So if it's a square, we know the length and the width is the same. But when I do the height of my chicken coop, let's see if I can uh, draw a picture here. Do, 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 do. When I do the height, I want the height of my box to be um, two feet shorter than the base and the width. So I really didn't draw a very good picture because this looks like a cube. But pretend with me that it's not. The height is two feet shorter. So the height is whatever the base is minus two, right? Whatever the length of the base is. So we've got the width is x, the length is x, but the height is two feet shorter. So it's x minus two. So it's going to be kind of squatted low to the ground. There's no need to have a big tall building because chickens don't fly. So it needs to be two feet shorter. So to find the volume, we know that volume is length times width times height. So I'm going to do x times x times, now I'm going to put this in parentheses, x minus 2, because this is one whole side. It's the base, or length, times width, times height. So x times x is x squared, and then I have that x squared is being times by x minus 2. So we've got to distribute it to both terms inside the parentheses. So x cubed minus 2x squared. Now, I don't necessarily know that I care what the volume of my building is per se for me, but my husband and I um, are helping our children for the first time do 4-H chickens, and we were talking to this guy at our church Sunday, and he is like all into the chickens, and he was telling us that you need to have a special building just for your market chickens, that he keeps a fan on his, he has them raised up off the ground so the air can go under them because they get so fat so fast that um, you have to keep them cool and let the air go under them. So um, while I personally don't care about the volume of the building, I guess that is something that people look at. <laughs> they look at the size, at least, of the building that they're putting their chickens in. thought that was pretty cool, and I thought I would include some pictures of these are my chickens that we hatched. The little itty-bitty ones, I think I showed you guys at some point this year, the video of my chicks. So anyway, there they are now. They're growing really quickly, and we're going to be getting more chicks for 4-H. So fun times. That is all I have for today. Have a great day, guys.